So I have no idea if you guys can see me yet, so I'll kind of wait a minute and talk to my phone like an idiot while I see if anybody actually comes out. I see Thomas is there and Marlena. Thank you both. I, can, I, can you guys hear me okay? Because I've never done a stream from my phone. This is kind of weird. Uh, Dr. Mabo says, I'm in Portland. Or Mabatu, is that how it says? Well, I'm in Portland too. Here's beautiful Portland. Well, this neighborhood anyway. Um, Luke is here, good to see you, as is Derek. So I'm just kind of walking around my wife's sister's father's neighborhood right now. Um, and if you hear Raven as he woke, yes. Uh, there are lots of ravens in Portland. Um, yes, you're very trying. <laughs> Quiet, Alex. I, I'm sorry, guys, that I, I tried to do a live stream. I was working with that laptop, but it seems that Bill's uh, uh, home internet is not quite up to the task, at least not through Wi-Fi. So tomorrow... If I have some time, dang, I can't, I can't like put my hand anywhere and hold the phone. Um, if I have time, I will try to hook my, I'll have to set up my laptop in his living room and hook it directly to his cable modem and see if I can get it to work that way. So how are Super Chats going to work? Well, obviously, um, you can still Super Chat, but I can't play the little tunes and stuff right now because... I don't have access to my computer right now. However, if you do, you will have my internal gratitude. Although, and, and let me be completely blatant and honest about it, is that if you were going to Super Chat, I'd rather you do the PayPal thing if you can. Um, I'll accept that the link's not in the description. Dang it. Um, Bird of Prey, since you're here, if you could... Can you put that link in the chat? Um, yeah, the protesters don't seem to be out and about yet, like the ones that I saw yesterday. Um, yeah, you could also do it at antitrekker.com. Um, anyway, if you do that, the only reason I say that, and I and I'm, hate being a salesman, is that we spent what money we had after the plane tickets to get some basic food. Uh, so we have like a couple of dozen eggs and cheese and that's about it, but that will, uh, take care of us for a few days at least. And then, uh, after that, we're going to, uh, uh, I get paid from YouTube, my monthly payout for YouTube. Problem is about 90% of that has to go straight to the home mortgage. So I can't use a lot of that for food and medicinal supplies, which I tell you, I really need some of those medicinal supplies the way my back is. Thomas, thank you so much. Shows $4.99 and as a super chat said, did you see IGN gave season two of Star Trek Discovery an 8.5? Sent you the article on Discord. Yeah, I know you can't watch it. Yeah, I can't access Discord right now, but um, I am not in the slightest surprise because IGN... I don't know what it is with those guys, but they seem to want to just, I mean, it's an overused term, but they're, they're, shill. they're total shill media at this point. They, oh, check it out. There's a raven right there. And there's another one up there. I don't know if you can see them. So, hey, wildlife safari with anti-checker. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, where are you going and why are you wearing shorts? I'm not wearing shorts. Um, protesters definitely have medical supplies. I think they probably do, Bird, but I think that that's kind of funny. Um, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I totally support people's right to protest. I think that it's a great thing about this country. Um, but... Uh, it, it feels like they're just protesting just a protest. Um, I, <laughs> I have to go back and look at the video that I caught 
during the protest, but it didn't seem like a crowd that was personally very affected by the uh, stuff that they were actually complaining about. But, hey, what can I say? Um, but yeah, Portland is a beautiful city, if you've never been here. Um, grumpy at, at editor. Sorry, Mr. Captain, if I sound grumpy. Um, let's say protesting is a part of living in a free country. Well, yeah, and it's... Like I said, I, I believe in it wholeheartedly. I, I really do. But I just think it's kind of stupid when protesting just turns into whining. Bit cold? It is a little chilly. You can see it's a beautiful neighborhood that, that Bill lives in. And by the way, so as, as I pan the camera around here, this is what Mrs. Antitracker talks about when she talks about trees. Okay. You would not think that you were in Portland, Oregon here, one, the largest city in this state. How cold is it right now? Um, I don't know. It's I would guess it's probably around uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, um, so at about 8, 9 degrees Celsius. Um, they were protesting when I returned to Portland. That could be. Looks like southeast. Actually, um, no, Dr. Mabato, I'm in northeast Portland right now. Um, not too far from Prescott. And, yeah, Prescott's just like a few blocks from here. Like 50-something in Prescott. And since you're, if you're in Portland, you know where that is. This area. Um, and Lee made a PayPal donation. Thank you so much, Lee. I can't see it right now since I'm doing this on my phone. But I do thank you, and in fact, if we get a few extra bucks when I finish streaming, me and Mrs. Antitrekker may grab a cup of coffee. Because aside from the fact that it's, a, it's chilly and a cup of coffee just sounds really good, it's a lot earlier than I usually do my streaming because I'm on the West Coast. So um, usually it's 10 a.m. when I do a morning stream, and uh, right now it's just like 8. Uh, Thomas has trees around my house. Very cool. I don't know where you live, Thomas, but I love trees. Dr. Mabachi says, let me buy you guys coffee. You are welcome to, my friend. Siri says 39 in Portland. That's sick. That was pretty close then. I guess 40 if it's 39. Um, 22 degrees here. and uh, Wow, that's a little chilly. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, Alexa, call mom. So, Hanty Trigger, I believe this is the, uh, this is the fir first live stream watching you. Well, Route 66, thank you for joining. This is not how I usually do my live streams, so forgive me if I miss a lot of comments. And do not ask me, guys, I know you love to, but do not ask me to read your last comment because I don't know how to even scroll back on the phone. Um, but... Usually, I stream from my desktop computer at home, and whenever somebody puts a super chat or something in there, I play silly animation and fun stuff like that, and we just talk about whatever we feel like talking about. But this is a little different. I'm out of my environment. Uh, I'm in Portland, Oregon, some 2,000 miles away from home uh, because my mother-in-law passed away just a few days ago, and my wife has to basically do pretty much everything to take care of the estate, which is a complete, in complete disarray. Um, Darren says, cut and paste for the win. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Darren. Um, I will say this. If I actually, if I had a better way to hold the phone while walking, this is nice walking around with you guys. And I'm not going to start running, surf. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you guys don't want to see me die lie on the, uh, live on the internet. Well, some of you might, but, you know, like, Mr. Miles probably would enjoy that. Out of my environment, outside, that's true too. You know what, the funny thing is, this is how I like outdoors, right? It's cool, it's cold, cool, but it's not, you know, bitter cold. Um, I love the fog. Uh, I love gray skies. This is actually, if I could have it like this every day, all year round, I would be a happy camper. Um, the movement is making me, sorry, sorry. yeah, that's, that's a funny thing about walking and talking is I can't help that. 
Um, and plus I'm sitting here having to switch hands with the phone so that I don't, you know, collapse. You should do this when you get back <laughs> and ring Laura's doorbell. That would be kind of fun. Um, this is the point in the movie when aliens attack. I know, you see, like, it would be perfect right now is, like, if I panned over, like, this way, and then up behind me you could see a flying saucer or something. Uh, I might have to do that with this footage or something uh, when I get home. 45 degrees Fahrenheit in uh, London, so it's about the same there. Anti trigger in Hungary, just zero degrees right now. Very, very chilly, but you know what? I like that I, I like crisp morning cold. I don't like it to be so cold that you have to bundle up. Like you guys can see, I'm actually wearing t-shirt, not bundled up or anything. But this is where I'm comfortable temperature-wise. Uh, although, granted, I would have to uh, change things up. Uh, it, <laughs> Darth Revan says, Andy Trigger, Mega... Ah, shot disappears. Mega Chat 1, Joshua's in a dress running down the road screaming, Mega 1, Mega 1, Mega 1. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it's funny because I actually... Uh, Mrs. Andy Trigger was saying, oh, you know, while we're here, we need to, you know, check out the old place where we used to live. And if we do, I may do a little quick live stream just from that location so you guys can see where Cheap Bleach was actually filmed. And we can see if it's had any negative impact on the neighborhood over the last few months or years. Wow, it's been a while now. We filmed that like five years ago. Jeez. Um, where is Cloverfield? Yeah, I don't, I don't see the monster. Plus, you see, if, if this were Cloverfield, I'd have to be doing this all the time. Uh, because they, for some reason, don't know how to hold a camera straight. So, uh, but yeah, my first, uh, first day in this neighborhood, very nice. Uh, people around here seem friendly enough which is kind of unusual for Portland, but uh, I'll take it. And it's kind of funny because this, this neighborhood is so off. Uh, oh, whoa, my, my chat kind of, kind of screwed up. Sorry, guys, it wasn't advancing. Uh, I didn't even see that uh, several of you guys have chatted. Um, were you able to see the eclipse? I didn't know that there was an eclipse. Uh, we were so busy just getting here and stuff. John throws a couple of bucks in and says, is she anti-rocking socks and sandals? No, she does not wear sandals ever. Uh, is he Captain Foley's here? Good to see you, Captain. Sorry for the unusual live stream. Uh, yeah, somebody, uh, yeah, you just have to go, Woo, Captain Foley is on the bridge, because I can't play it. I got 50 people watching. That's amazing. Uh, 50 people watching me uh, walking up and down the street and rambling on about random stuff that's that's wow um my most luminous video yes that is definitely true given all the power i i'm giving you all the power can't give you no more can i give you no more captain so yeah this is a beautiful house that bill has he um he had an old old house um that he sold and he got this house um, just a gorgeous place, but unfortunately, um, his, you know, when, when his daughter passed away, that just really hurt him because the place was basically for him and his daughter and now she's gone. I love the Star Trek Discovery bubble ship ripped off Lost in Space movie sequence. You know, I thought about that too, that it really felt like those, uh, those attack ships, that they had at the beginning of the Lost in Space movie. Um, I just realized that I'm in somebody's driveway. That's stupid of me. Uh, but you're right, you're right. The, the, the Star Trek Discovery landing pod, the fighters from Lost in Space. Uh, I will say this. The landing pod design wasn't that bad. It's just that it was so not Star Trek. I mean, fighters... No, 
And while I know they would say, well, these weren't fighters because they weren't, they didn't have weapons. They were just, whatever. That wouldn't make any sense, but uh, they move like fighters. They fly like fighters. They just wanted a fighter scene, and so they could say Michael Burnham is now the greatest fighter pilot, so that she can be Luke Skywalker slash uh, Ray, uh, as well as whatever the heck she is. Um, uh, you you okay? I can tell you're limping. Uh, I want to borrow my crutch. I always limp a little bit because of the arthritis on my knee, plus. Uh, one of the reasons I'm actually walking around right now is my back is really, really sore uh, to the point where I was, Mrs. Antitricker had to help me stand up in order to get out here. Um, and unfortunately, well, uh, Bill's house is beautiful and, and lovely and Bill is extremely kind to let us stay with him. The room we're in has zero furniture. And so we literally had to sleep on the floor uh, we spent a little more than we should have getting an air mattress to kind of minimally make it tolerable, but it's still bad. Um, it's from J Trek, the EV scenes, but with pods instead. Well, I think they, they borrowed, you're, you're partially right there, Luke, in that, you yes, they definitely borrowed from the scenes from Star Trek 2009 with the skydiving and Star Trek Into Darkness with the debris field uh, maneuvering in the EV, EV suits. And so they took some of that and then combined it with the ships from Lost in Space. Stupid question uh, for you. Why not use a wheelchair uh, when you travel, uh, go back relief uh, if you're that bad? Um, I would say a couple of reasons. One, pride. Uh, I don't. I have a cane at home, but I don't like to use it. Um, and I know that's stupid, but it's true. Um, another is <clears throat> expense. <laughs> I mean, honestly, uh, they don't give away wheelchairs. So, uh, and besides that, I do want to try to do what little exercise I can. Mecha Random is here, says, doesn't Alex Kurtzman just keep recycling the same crap he's already done? Well, it certainly seems that way. Um, but remember, Mecha, this time it's with a girl, and that makes it much, much better. Because quantum. Anti-Trekker, isn't a pimp cane... <laughs> isn't a, a pimp cane, or is that... Uh, is it, uh, or is your wand inside of it? Yeah, I would just be using it as a pimp cane. That's me, all right. Um, and your bird of prey turned Alex off on Sunday stream. Well, good for him. Everybody should be banning Alex from the internet because uh, people with voices that nice should not be allowed to exist. Um, so, of course, now everybody's all excited that Mecha Random is here. So maybe I should just start streaming and Mecha Random should go on. So. Um, Charles is here. Good to see you. Alex Kurtzman, the worst form TV maker since Ruin Johnson. I, you know, here's the thing. And this is the funny thing. And I would actually defend Ryan Johnson a little bit in this department too. Is Alex Kurtzman and Ryan Johnson are competent filmmakers. Um, you mean Mr. Glass? Yes. Um, and they're, they're both competent filmmakers. And in fact, most people, uh, the, even whether you love or you hate Discovery, I know that most people that I know hate it. But even if, if you hate the show, you have to acknowledge that it looks beautiful. Uh, there's no arguing about that. Um, Andy Tricker, how warm are you? I'm not warm. It's chilly, but I'm not freezing. Although I'm going to probably get in the car here in a minute just so that I'm not too cold. Uh, Dr. Mubatu throws 10 bucks in the chat. Thank you so much, doctor. I can't give you a super chat reward right now, but I will the next time I stream from my computer. Um, stranded on Mars. I mean, re recycling is turned into potatoes. Yes. Uh, well, Alex, uh, you, you would say that. Uh, Luke, how, how the yellow jackets doing? Yeah, good question. They're, they're, they seem to have bled over to Portland from what I see here. 
I think that's why they're protesting, honestly. They're, they're sick of the, the French getting all the attention right now. Um, Captain Foley Norm tested... Captain Foley Norm on tested said that he was happy they kept the Enterprise the same size. Um, Captain Foley is a stickler when it comes to technology, and if he's happy that they didn't change it up, good for him. I, I think this, the, the Enterprise looks fine if this was a reboot of Trek, but the fact that they tried to say that this is in the prime timeline is insulting. Um, Star Trek Discovery target audience is made for ADD. They will turn, they will watch something with else without seeing constant action. I think you're, there's some truth to that, that unfortunately a lot of people don't understand the idea of building character, building story and all that. Which phaser do you like, TOS or TNG? I like the TOS phasers. The TNG ones look like a blow dryer to me. Captain Foley is a size queen. <laughs> well, wouldn't he be a size king, technically? I mean, come on. Uh, Mecha Random, not my f favorite style, but I stomach it better than most people. I have no idea what you're talking about. Though. Yeah, and Nicole's with me. Looks like TOS Phaser is the way to go. Captain Foley is a size husky. Well, he's, but he's such, he's so smooth. Um, Darth, Darth Revan says, Andy Trekker, uh, so weird to think that there's so much food around you, and if you eat any of it, you will be arrested because it's held in a private box? True, I guess. Um, it's rainy, dark here. It's getting dark here and rainy. Okay. Uh... Or Blake 7, Space 1999. Space 1999, I loved back in the day. Uh, such obsession over my hairless body, I'm blushing. So here's a question for you then, Captain Foley. As I wince a little bit while we try to sit down for a moment. Um, oh yeah, that's fun. Whew. So getting in a car so I can warm up a bit. So, sorry about that, but the uh, getting in a car is excruciatingly painful for me right now. And I apologize for the noise. Hopefully that'll stop in a second. There we go. Let me know if the noise is too intolerable with the engine running, uh, because I just wanted to warm up a little. Uh, let me see here. Do you know from shaky hand cam you look like Penn Gillette from a few years back? I'm not, yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see that. Penn and I have some similar features. Uh, good. Did you fly or drive? Oh, we couldn't drive to Portland. It's a four day drive. And so there was no way that was gonna happen. Um, do you watch other YouTube videos from various channels? If so, can you name a few? I watch a few. Um, some of them I watch purely for the lulls where I tend to get mad, like E.C. Henry, for example. Very well-produced videos, but he tends to make me angry a lot with his defense of things that I think are indefensible. Um, but E.C. Henry makes good videos. I watch some of the bigger channels, like Generation Tech. Um, I think they're fun. The um, But... And then, and then, of course, uh, I do watch Trek Yards, uh, but Trek Yards is funny and funny because I know you, I know you, you know, it's a funny channel because Trek Yards, and you know this is is, is true anyway, Captain Foley. Trek Yards is not a channel where it's like a new video pops up and I'm like, ooh, ooh, new Trek Yards video, gotta watch it. Trek Yards is a channel that you kind of use as a research option when you're trying to, if you're like, hmm, I want to know where the toilets are in a Miranda class starship, you're going to look up track yards because they're going to give you that information in their breakdown. So, uh, I do, I do love track yards. Though. Lore Reloaded, I watch, um, and partially because Lore is my friend and partially because, you know, he makes me laugh in some ways intentional and some ways not. Um, I actually do watch Bird of Prey 5, um, 
on his live streams whenever I'm available and he's streaming. If you haven't, you should subscribe to Bird of Prey 5. He's a, he's a lot of fun uh, in a very unique way. And Bird of Prey has a great personality for doing this stuff. Yeah, it's Captain Lorca, best captain of 2018, according to Floor Reloaded. Uh, and that's not even a joke. Um, and if, so, yeah, if you want to know why I think Lore Reloaded is funny, check out his best Starship Captains of 2018 video. Alexa calls Steve. <laughs> Who's Steve? Uh, if you if you know Bird of Prey knows somebody named Steve, you, you know, you could make him very nervous since the Godfather's calling. Um, trying to think of other YouTube channels I watch. Uh, you know, whenever you guys put up videos, I try to watch, like, uh, when Captain George puts up a video, uh, Mecca Random, obviously, is a great channel to watch. Uh, Mecca does great rant videos. I'm not very good at that. I've tried, and nobody likes my rant videos. You guys love it when I rant on my live streams, but for some reason, I put up a video of me ranting in epic proportions, and, like, 200 people will watch it. Um... Derek McManus, the one in the center of the bridge on that. Uh, Mrs. H. Tricker watches Alex at least. Yes, Alex. Um, uh, Alex does a great channel too. Like if you like, yeah, you you should check out his sword play videos if you care about uh, sword fighting at all. He's done a great series on that. Uh, I think that Alex uh, has the potential to with that voice of his. Yeah, I hate him. Anyway. Um, what about podcasts? Do you listen to any Trekcast? Not really. I don't listen to podcasting much. And um, because the funny thing, the Discovery's toilet is the captain's chair. I didn't know that. Thank you, Captain Foley. So, And since Captain Foley said it, it must be true. Uh, all you do is rant. That's why we watch. I don't just rant. But when I say rant, I mean, like, for example, uh, one thing that, like, Mecha Random, Doomcock, and a lot of other people that I know and respect, uh, Nerd Roddick does this a lot, is they will do videos reacting to the latest story stuff about what's going on in the nerdosphere, right? So, uh, Andy Drecker, was it a good idea to have Tasha Yar's security chief because she was clearly incompetent and died as a result? Um, but yeah, the, the, uh, no, I lost my train of thought, man, I need some of the medication that's only available here. Uh, I stick around to see how often Annie Trigger says, however, I do say, however, a lot, uh, that is very true. However, I say, however, because that's just, everybody has their speech patterns and that's in mine. Uh, anyway, so when I rant, I usually rant about something. Uh, it, during the live streams, it could be anything. But during the, the my regular videos, it's usually about some aspect of a specific episode or movie, mostly involving Trek. Um, when Mecha and Nerdrotic, Doomcock, when they do their rant videos, they're like pulling up an article of behind-the-scenes stuff of something. Hey, Alex Kurtzman just took a dump on the ho on Hollywood Boulevard and everybody thought it was beautiful art. And they will do an epic rant about that. If I did an epic rant about that, like 200 people would watch and say, geez, anti Trekker, can't you just get back to your reviews? So, yeah. Do a weed-fueled stream? Um, that would be bizarre. Uh, prob uh, actually, it would just be me like this. Because I would not be in pain. Um, so, if, if uh, but I'm not going to be able to afford any uh, any of that kind of product for probably a week um, when my next paycheck comes from my regular job. Uh, unless unless somebody wants to go crazy on PayPal, and I'm not saying you should, but then that's I, I just can't afford it. Uh, believe me, if I could afford it, I'd be taking some right now because of my back. Um, and yeah that's what sucks about traveling when you have a bad back um by the way i don't know is if if xavier is here i haven't heard from him in a while xavier if you are here let me know uh i'm sending you 20 on thursday thank you darth i do appreciate it um and again i i, I know i sound like a cheap whore asking for money but shout you out sarheen spam Sarin, ah, man, how do you say that name? Uh, 
Saharim Spam Q33 and what? How do you you know if you want a shout out? Here's the thing. Give yourself a catchy name that's easy to read. It's much easier to like. So, for example, Sarkon de Grissom, who just left uh, left the comment, "Be cool, Ed Trick. I have no funds to give it this time. No problem." I and you guys know I don't I don't hold that against you. I know sometimes you know you you can some people can give some people can't. I get it. Um, but anyway, uh, Bird of Prey Five uh, puts uh, up there Thomas Potts. Those are easy to pronounce. When a name like uh, Shireen Spam Q U three three N, which I assume is for Queen, so uh, Serene Spam Queen. Okay, I get it now. It's a little trickier; it doesn't roll off the tongue. But welcome, and everybody should check out Serene Spam Queen's channel and see if it's any good. Because if it is good, I will take full credit for it. If it's not, however, it is entirely on Serene Spam Queen. Um. Have you guys checked out Foley's other channel, Weed Yards? <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. Um, how long do you think the woke movement will last in Hollywood before it burns out? That's a good question. It's really been building since the 70s. Um, the 60s, actually, you know, Hollywood was still fairly conservative, and you can see that if you look at Star Trek, the original series. Um, but in the 70s is when things started to get all crazy liberal uh, and they just kept pushing and pushing and pushing through the 80s and the 90s and to now it's like at this ridiculous level. Um, honestly, I see uh, probably another 10, 20 years before it starts to dial back a little bit and then it will start becoming conservative again. Because keep in mind, Hollywood back in the 50s and 40s was actually quite conservative. And it's funny, you can look at a lot of old... Bob Hope stuff where he's making fun of Democrats instead of Republicans. Uh, yes, okay, uh, yes, okay, yes, okay, thank you. I don't post, though. I'm trying to get subs with no content. <laughs> all right, well, there you go. Good luck getting all the subs of the world with no content, but I'll tell you, um, it's easier to get subs if you actually put stuff out. That's part of the reason that despite the fact that I am out of town and dealing with some stuff that have nothing to do with my YouTube life, I'm still doing live streams. I'm going to try to produce at least a video or two this week. It's going to be tough, but because, um, like I said, right now, I don't even, we literally have a room with no furniture in it. And so if you've ever tried to sit at a computer and type stuff out well, just sitting on the floor with no desk or anything, however, that's hard enough. Now do it with a bad back. Screen Rant made a 21-minute video about Star Wars, and they didn't whitewash the problem in the first half. New record. Wow, that is a new record for them. You know, it's funny, because how do you get a channel, and, and I, Screen Rant is a great name for a YouTube channel, and they don't rant. Newsflash, anti Trucker is living in his car. Yes, I am. This is actually not my car. This is a rental car. Uh, and by the way, uh, Hyundai uh, has not... Uh, paid for this endorsement their cars suck let me tell you this car is a freaking tin can I never want to get in a Hyundai again um, um, probably uh, people from the hippie movement in the 60s that the 70s became more PC you're very correct um, anti trigger discovery ratings have been plummeting 39 down to 31 just like uh, the doctor LOL well 30, 31% of what? Are you saying 31% positive from, from their audience? That wouldn't surprise me. I mean, that, that last episode was such a mess. Is there anything good about Star Trek Discovery? The visual effects are outstanding. The design of Federation starships, other than Discovery herself, is actually really good. Um, the acting overall is pretty solid. Uh, the, it's just that they're agenda-driven focus and their the bland characterization of Michael Burnham coupled with the fact that Michael Burnham is a complete and utter Mary Sue uh, is really the problem don't buy Japanese I generally do I we've we've owned uh, our, our cars have been nothing but Fords back to the 90s and Ford say what you want about them their cars are solid especially compared to something like this um, what continent do you live in? Asia, America, South America, Europe, Antarctica, blah, blah, blah. I live in the United States. 
Uh, Hyundai is in, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I know that, uh, that yeah, I think you might be right, actually, no, I think about it, I think you're right, I think Hyundai is Korean, but at any rate, I don't like cars that are built to be lightweight, they feel just cheap. Uh, Surf says, I can mail you some cash, don't do debit online. Well, don't bother Surf, as much as I appreciate the thought. Uh, keep in mind, and I should have said this before, but remember, while my address is usually in the description box of my videos, I don't think my address is in the description of this one because I started it from my phone. But um, I'm not home for like the next three weeks. I will not be, I will not have access to anything you guys send me. Um, although, who was it that said uh, they were going to buy me coffee? I can't remember your name now. Because, yeah. Uh, if so, you need to, you can reach out. If, you, if you're if you serious, if you want to, uh, anybody that's in Portland, uh, if you want to do a meetup sometime while I'm here, I'm all for that. I truly am. So reach out to me. Send me a uh, personal message on Discord or at antitrekker.com. And uh, if you're in the Portland metro area and I can squeeze out some time, we will definitely meet up for coffee uh, or lunch or whatever you feel like buying me. I am a cheap date. Um, don't buy Asian cars. Yeah, I generally don't like Asian cars because of that factor, because they're built to be lightweight. They're very fuel efficient, but eh, no thanks. The anti checker Forum website is the place. That I like it, actually. Uh, I haven't been able to spend as much time there as I'd like to, in large part because of the circumstances around my mother-in-law. But the... Um, but I, I'm very proud of what Bird of Prey has done uh, in setting it up. And thank you guys for helping support the site and keep things going. I truly, truly appreciate it um, more than I can say. Uh, anti Tracker, I sent you a kitten yesterday. Guess it'll be stinky wet box. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you sent me a kitten in the mail, that that would be a very bad, bad thing uh, because that kitten's going to be dead before uh, before I get back. And so, do not, uh, please, do not send me a kitten in the mail. Uh, as much as I love kittens. Uh, 69 watchers, ask Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, how many watchers are watching Bird of Prey? Uh, buy Japanese cars. They can survive atomic blasts. My O2 Eclipse has 200,000 miles on it. You know, it's funny. Like anything, uh, and, and this is true of people, like I know there are people that love Ford, people that love Chevy, people that love Toyota. Um, you know, people love Honda, whatever. But it's really random chance. Uh, if you get an Eclipse that lasts 200,000 200, miles and it treats you like a champ and you never have to go uh, get it serviced or anything, that's great. Then somebody else buys uh, a 2002 Eclipse, brand new off the showroom, and it's a complete and utter lemon. Um, Admiral says American cars suck. That's purely subjective. Uh, and the exhaust system actually blows. The seashells she sells are seashells for sure. Yeah, that was, but isn't it supposed to be she sells seashells by the seashore? I thought that's how it went. But not the seashells she sells are seashells for sure. That seems actually easier to say than she sells she sells by the seashore. Wow, that was a lot of that. And you know, and let's see. I did read the tongue twister. So, uh, Sharon, I do sell seashells by the seashore. Well, that's cool, Charles. I didn't know you sold seashells. But then your name should be something that rhyme, rhyme, uh, rhymes and all that, man. Like he sells, but you see, he and she. Uh, yeah, you need. Yeah, well, need to work on that. I don't know anyone with an American car and a trucker, but my uncle did uh, when he worked for the Sultan of Oman. Uh, he was a hel helicopter pilot. Oh, cool. Um, well, American cars tend to be a little more solid, um, but that makes them sometimes a little less nimble and a little less fuel efficient. But uh, personally, I'm more about safety than I am uh, whether the car is super maneuverable. 
Thomas throws another four ninety nine. Thank you so much, Thomas. I, you know, when I ever, whenever I do get a, a live stream set up where I can do super chat rewards, I'm gonna owe you a bunch. But yes, yes, mash, lick, penetrate. I don't care what you do. Just, just push that like button. Bird of Prey five. <laughs> yeah, Bird of Prey five has some great quotes. Are you famous? No, I am. Uh, uh, I mean, because I mean, I have so many. 7,400 subs, which I'm very proud of, uh, but no, to be famous, I would say you probably need to have a couple of million subs to really be considered famous. Uh, well, he's got a fuel-efficient rover now, Antichecker. Well, um, never driven a rover, but, uh, yeah. Call your next cat Michael Pernum. Um, I would never do that, because... I, even though cats are dicks, uh, I love our cat, so no. What do you think of YouTubers that throw their political agenda in their videos? Well, that's an interesting question, RT. It really depends on, uh, as I, was, I know it's Route 66, but the, uh, it depends on the, the theme of their channel. Um, if you are doing a political channel, then fine, talk it up, whether you're conservative or liberal or libertarian or green or whatever. Uh, if that's the focus of your channel is to talk about politics, then absolutely throw your political opinion out there every chance you get. However, my, now my channel, obviously my regular videos are mostly about nerdy stuff focused on Star Trek, Star Wars, Marvel, that kind of stuff. Um, my live streams are completely random. So uh, when, when you go, and, and this is something that anybody that's been around for a while knows, a live stream can literally be any topic that exists. It just, we talk about whatever you guys drive the conversation with. And, uh, but, I, and I do talk about my political opinions, but generally only when I'm asked for it. Um, I don't tend to shove it into my videos that much, except like I'll point out when there's something uh, that I disagree with more than um, promoting a specific political thing. But overall, I don't care as long as it fits the theme of the channel. Just like I don't mind a little bit of politics in Star Trek uh, as long as it fits the story. Same thing with Star Wars or anything else. Dr. Mubatu throws five bucks in and says it's pronounced Mabutu. Oh, I'm sorry. Mabutu. I am truly sorry, Doctor. Um... But if you named it after Michael Burnham, your cat could do anything. That's true. Oh, and I see the Mrs. Anti-Trekker is on her phone right now. says, hey, hey, guys, thank you, everyone, for giving getting us out here. Yes, absolutely. And thank you for uh, stopping by as well, babe. So, um, yes, Mrs. Anti-Trekker is um, the best wife ever. And you guys helped me uh, take, care of the, take care of her there. And I truly appreciate it. Um, yeah, another five USD nine to check her and Mrs. Entry can get a cup of coffee. I, you know what? Um, now, I, I'll tell you, Darth. Now, to get the coffee that Mrs. Anti Checker likes is a a Starbucks latte with heavy cream and see, how she, she's she's gonna be impressed. I can remember this with heavy cream instead of milk, and five pumps of Dolce sugar free cinnamon syrup. That's what she likes. Um, uh, and then, uh, so I will, I will use that five box Darth to, to get her a, uh, a latte. Um, Peter Quinn says hi to Mrs. Antitrekker. I don't know how much she's watching, but if you are, uh, I'm sure she said, she'll say thank you. Hell, beautiful voice known as Mrs. Antitrekker. She has an incredible voice and she's got a face that matches that voice. She's not a radio face. I'll tell you, she, you know, she's, oh yeah. Uh, I hope Mrs. Antrigger gets the best support. She, I, I tell you, I'm that's why I'm here. I'm trying to help her out wherever I can. I know that physically I'm a wreck, but I'm here for her uh, to support her. Uh, Antrigger, did you know Tasha outranked Jordy and was fourth in command right under Data? I'm not surprised, but that seems stupid. Uh, I live in a tree and I eat shampoo for lunch, but poached eggs for breakfast. No dinner, though. Also, I'm on the phone attached uh attache to a phone shop so this is not my phone it's a shop it's in a shop in the example phone so okay that was a long partial comment uh, 
this hi to Mrs. Auntie Checker. I uh, hope you're holding it together, especially your husband. And you know, he's so sappy at times. Yeah, I, yeah, I am. Uh, Auntie Checker, that wasn't me, man. Oh well, that was Zarkon de Grissom. Sorry, Darth. You're, you know what? It's hard for me. You're right. It was. I'm so sorry. It's hard for me to read these on the phone. It's like I'm used to having it on a much, much bigger screen. Uh, it's cool. He typed hell instead of I typed hell instead of hello. That's all right. I got it. Um, a Michael Burnham cat would start a war with the, all the dogs in your neighborhood and win. Yes. And Shireen Spam Queen says, "I'll be right back." Well, we may or may not be here. It <laughs> depends. Oh man, uh, did you see the metalhead white Jordies out there? No. Uh, we did see a lot of angry white liberals, um, which Portland has a huge number of angry right, uh, white liberals here. Um, but uh, no, did not see any metalhead uh, white Geordies yet. And so, and if Mrs. Antitricker is still watching, she's like, what the hell is a metalhead white Jordy? Because she is smart and does not watch Star Trek Discovery. You see, that's how much I love my wife. You know, not only do I care about you guys, and I want to make sure that you don't have to watch Discovery unless you really want to, so you can watch my reviews, but I love Mrs. Antitrekker so much that I don't make her watch it with me, even though I would love for her to watch it. Um, and Mrs. Dude, dude. Says, dude, dude. I'm getting a Awaiting phone. request. All right. Uh, says, hi, Luke. I'm doing okay. My husband is amazing with all the support he's giving to me and my baby sister. Well, no. I'm, all I'm doing is hanging around and answering questions um yeah babe what is that yeah so <laughs> it's a little bit of a delay but i assume you're talking about the geordie thing it's 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 a weird looking character from discovery uh route 66 says i'm a wonderful husband well thank you i appreciate that although you wouldn't know but mrs anti-tricker hopefully would um although she still finds dr alex just a little too infatuating i think Side note, I would uh, like to see you do a video on the character uh, Bester from Babylon 5. I haven't done any Babylon 5 videos yet, and I probably won't for a little while, to be honest with you, Dr. Mubatu, mainly because I have, um, I'm, I've been watching Stargate SG-1, I'm starting to do reviews of Stargate, and the, uh, and so I'm working on, uh, I'm going through Stargate, once I get a little more time on my hands, then I can seriously think about rewatching Babylon 5, but right now it's just a matter of not enough hours in the day. Antrigger, changing color uniform is stupid. An engineer becomes a soldier, and a uh, pilot becomes a chief engineer. Logical. Yeah, I, I, I never understood the, the uniform changes. Ebony Mom says that voice, so you're talking about my voice, of course, right? Not Dr. Alex. You love my voice, not Dr. Alex. Um... I've taken a mighty oath to never watch Star Trek Discovery sober again. That would be an easy one. I, yeah. There we go. Okay, I think I got it. So let me know, uh, guys. Let me know if you can see and or hear me. And I, but I think I got it. Uh, engage emergency power. Did you go through? No, I'm not moving. I mean, the car's not. See, the car's just sitting still. I just sat down in the car and turned on the heater so that I come up a little bit. Uh, it froze like he's trying to, <laughs> um, oh, somebody's going to use that for a meme, I can tell. Um, yeah, all I did was, uh, when I realized it was frozen up, I just, uh, closed all the apps on the phone, restarted it. I don't know why that happened, but, you know, it just did. I'm here, says Shireen Spam. Good. I'm, I'm glad you're still here. Um, good. Uh, so that was weird. Never, never tried to do a full on live stream from a phone. So there is that. Um, so let's see here. Oh, hold just a second, guys. What's going on when you guys heading out? Um, I'm not sure. You'd have to ask for Janet. I'm actually doing a live stream right now on oh, my YouTube channel. So everybody, this is Bill. Bill is my wife's sister's father. Very nice guy. No, I'm not. 
He says he's not a guy. Who's gonna, but I will tell you this, Bill. Uh, while I love him to death, and he and he's really kind for letting us stay with him, he doesn't understand what really good Star Trek is versus really bad Star Trek. He likes stuff. He bought Star Trek Discovery season one on Blu-ray, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, so I'm gonna have to have a talk with him later. I like Babylon Five too. Well, they they'll agree with you on Babylon Five. I also well, like Farscape too. I've I haven't watched Farscape. You haven't? No. Have to watch them. Oh, you got Farsk? Okay. Oh, yeah, the whole series. All right, I'll probably watch some of them. All right. So, <laughs> so Bill would, uh, was trying to see what our schedule was going to be like today. I think we actually we're going to be leaving in a little while to go to the house. I'm not looking forward to seeing that house. Oh. Um, and so, yeah, Bill is a great guy. Um he uh yeah he's uh, he was a uh, he was a crazy hippie in the 60s but yeah um but he apparently likes farscape and babylon 5 so i'll give him credit there but he also for some reason bought star trek discovery so um anyway guys so i am going to wrap it up so we can get ready to go i don't have credits to roll this time so i will just say thank you all that have been able to support um and uh, I will actually probably record a video of what the house looks like so you guys can see how what we're dealing with. Um, uh, Ant Tricker, do you watch Young Justice? I've never seen Young Justice, no. Uh, and uh, Sharon Spam Queen, or Shireen Spam Queen, say, wait, wait, why? Uh, maybe he didn't watch CBS uh, All Access, so he, so he bought it. Yeah, I haven't talked to him about it yet. Um, be cool and we'll try uh, we will we will well it's definitely cool here but yeah uh, all right and trigger thank you for the live stream I give you my condolences thank you so much I appreciate it um, while in Portland have and enjoy a uh, black bean burrito uh, well don't have money to spend on a black bean burrito but maybe after payday we'll we'll see if we can squeeze one out all right guys, um, you take care as I try to figure out how do I stop the live stream now because I've never done a live stream on my phone. Um, uh, Bill is my kind of chat beer for break. No, that wasn't a beer. He was drinking. <laughs> but, but no, he was not drinking beer for breakfast. Uh, so take it, take it easy, guys. Eventually, this live stream is going to stop once I figure out how to make it stop.